8.30 at night. I took a break for dinner, which was really lunch. Damage to the floor. I'll have to scrape that off with the flat blade I found in the trash of one of my drug dealer tenants. I don't know what he's up to, but I got my suspicions. Oops. Doesn't fit. Turn it. Radiator, heater, that one's done. I have to have my new man drill a hole just a little bit so I can move that pipe that way. And I squeeze it in and tighten those fittings up. And you can't over tighten them because you'll pop the back off of them. Ask me how I know. They're not that thick, you over tighten them and chunk, chunk. This one is going to be a problem. Now I know why the floor is rotten here. The bell, the nipple that's inside the radiator, oval, squished. Yep. Maybe I should have filled it up with plumber's putty. Tightened it, but it's going to drip. Guaranteed. Maybe it's going to pour out of there. I'll just have to fill it up with plumber's putty. Hope for the best. All right. Scrape that. Touch it up. Be good to go. And next comes the baby radiator. This one's a piece of cake compared to the other ones. It still weighs a couple 300 pounds compared to the other ones that are 50% bigger. An extra 150 pounds. It's as much as the refrigerator. Extra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Almost double the size, no wonder it's twice as heavy to move around. Got good light in here. It's a 4100 Kelvin lamp bulb. Kelvin is a measure of temperatures and brightness in respect to temperature is brightness. Kelvin scale. What's absolute freezing when nothing can exist whatsoever. It's way colder than 70 below in Belarus or Siberia. Minus 276 is absolute zero. And my block of wood is going to interfere with me putting this heater radiator into position. Clunk. I'll tell you, that's a lot lighter than the other ones. A lot lighter. Maybe I'll just walk it. Scratch up the floor. Tuba fur. I need a tuba fur. Tuba fur. Where is a tuba fur? I gotta clean this place up. Turn the water on, turn the heating back on. It was a two by four. I'm reaching for the light bulb. Don't you hate that when somebody's making a video and all of a sudden it goes dark and you know they're there but you just can't see anything? Nope, I just saved this from the trash. 1961 newspaper. Can't read the uh, headline but quarter page ad. Say, hey, how do you like your rambler? It's a tiger on the road and a mouse on gas. $1,847. 1961 Rambler American Custom Four Door Sedan. World Standard of Compact Cars. 1961 Rambler. Manufacturer suggested. Factory delivered price, factory delivered, not including shipping. For a Rambler American Deluxe two door, not shown. This is a four door, two door sedan, state and local taxes, if any, 
white wall tires and optional equipment extra, but it doesn't tell you what the optional equipment is. Bumper overriders, chrome bumper maybe, automatic transmission, vacuum windshield wipers, outside rear view mirror. Yep, it's got an outside rear view mirror. Got gas for your gas guzzler. This man's got time on his hands to go fishing because He's got a gas-saving rambler with full hubcaps and white wall tires and a chrome spear. Believe it or not, back in the day that meant a lot. Chrome around the windows, chrome around the doors. <laughs> All right, no two prefer, huh? Hey, look at this. Talk about stuff. Crane. Look at this spout. Try to find one of those nowadays. Cost you a hundred bucks. Solid brass. Chrome cast. Cute. Good stuff. Heavy. Heavy. <sighs> Radiator. I could just try walking in this place. I don't know where my piece of wood is. Oops. Mile. I'm going to loosen that donut. Hmm. This is going to be fun. I got to loosen that pipe. It's going to turn that way. Oh, my fork. A couple of skin marks. <sighs> I'm going to do this in my own privacy. <laughs> The guy's working on my white Suburban with the blown motor and he's actually ready to pull the motor on the Suburban. He's got it all taken apart but he got a whole bunch of work in. Some guy was driving a big box van and he ran it out of differential oil so he seized up the diffy and he even bent the pinion. How often do you see that? What a jerk anyways. 760 bucks to fix that so cash work. My truck goes outside and there he goes the one that needs to work. So he asked me to get him a water pump because he got sand in the water pump on the parts motor. He didn't close off the weep hole. And the water pump that's on the truck is a genuine Delco HO water pump, high output. But he said it was stuck and he freed it up. But I went and looked at it. Hoses were full of rust sludge. It didn't look good. Too bad. Nice Delco pump, but junk. So I went and bought a made in China pump with the flat friendly local auto parts. Made in China, brand new, $48, 15% off at Advance Auto with a $50 gift card. You could buy more than $50. So I bought some full strength antifreeze. Not the Dex Cool for $13. How tight do you make that? I guess till it pops, then you back off. I'm just going to use that radiator over a little bit in the corner where it was. I 
That's it. Crank on it until it pops the back off the nut. All right, I can turn the water back on the heating system and see where it's leaking. Yep. Friend of mine, I told you, is building a brand new duplex. I went to look at it today. No videos, too busy. Anyhow, he's putting PEX, he's put in the floor PEX heating. It probably had 12 zones, even in a single car garage in the concrete with a natural gas on the wall boiler. The boiler was the same size as this electric boiler with 12 ports coming out the top. I don't know how they zone that. I don't think he had 12 thermostats or 10 thermostats. But it's pretty mild heat. So where's the water? I oh, don't think it's here. <laughs> water. Water, water, water. Turn that off. And copper, flex, type K, junk, replaced with PEX. Adapters to go from copper to PEX. It adapts from half inch inner diameter to uh, 3 eighths outer diameter. Because half inch PEX is actually 3 eighths. I don't know why they call it half inch, but it's 3 eighths. So I got another adapter here. Sweat that on and you crimp on that side. That's how you switch over. Very simple, huh? Answer all your questions here. There's a PEX adapter right there. Probably costs a dollar. Whoops. And they call it female solder adapter. PEX. And here's your PEX valves. Chromed brass. Different companies make them different. It used to be made in Northern Italy, but those days are gone. Now it's made in China. Water, oil, gas. W-O-G. Water, oil, gas. Model 400. Watts. Made in China. Pex is the cat's meow. Drop here for the shower. Screw that to the wall. So when you grab your shower head, the boost neck isn't loose. So, let's turn the water on. See what kind of disasters I have. Hmm. I don't think I did that. Oh, a little mousy. Ooh, we got company. Let's flood the place while Mrs. CW is wondering what's going on. Yeah. Uh, here's the box. Well, we're filling up the system with water, and here's the hiss. Yeah. That's going to pour out water. No oh, good. Got a big problem there. So I'm going to go back downstairs and turn off the water. Yeah! I can hear the air hissing out of that bell shaped nipple on the radiator. No good. Yeah, I made a video. You hear it? Really? Yeah. You can hear it? Oh, yeah. Oh well, no heat for tonight. That valve is closed and that valve was blocked with rust. It's all over my glove. Yeah. Valve wouldn't operate, so we opened it up. Still came a bug low rust. Alright, so Done for tonight. will that leak during the night? No. Shouldn't uh... Good. Any big Susie in? Oh well, yeah, you can see that it's all whole. Junk. Now I gotta take this side off to be able to spin the radiator around. Uh -huh. Got it done. Who's here? Look who's here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, who's here? Oh, it's 
it's snowing, huh? Yeah. All right, I got this side off. And it's ugh. Ooh. What is it? Well, it's 15 minutes later and we're having some thoughts about this oval pipe. We're thinking that maybe there's a special tool that goes inside there because there's two notches. Maybe there's a special tool to remove that nipple because I tried to crank on this nut on the outside and it's too tight for even my three foot over a meter long Chinese pipe wrench. But I don't know, maybe there's even a suede tool that you put inside here and it rounds that and it also compresses this oval. Special tool to fix this oval. An old plumber's tool. The old plumber died, you go to the garage sale and buy it for 50 cents. And fix that oval hole because that's never going to be easy to fix. Even in a press, if you squish it too much, you'd never be able to control the press. So maybe someone's a plumber and they'll say, yeah, my grandfather's got that. He died 30 years ago. I was wondering what that tool was. <laughs> Just put it in there and tap it with a hammer and re-round that. Or maybe I should take that nut off and go to the plumbing supply and see if they have a, a new male compression adapter. Who knows? Life's problems. Life of a dog. Right, Susie? Uh, doesn't like guns or cameras. Thank <laughs> you.